Hey everybody, this is Donnie Schwartz from Passover Listings, the one-stop shop for everything Pesach. We are getting really excited about Pesach coming up as uh, right after Hanukkah is the next biggest holiday. People going away, traveling for Pesach, Pesach programs, and uh, there are a lot of programs this year all around the world we're going to talk about. We also have a special guest tonight um, to talk about the food side as well. So let me actually invite them to the chat, the video here. And we are, there we go. How are you guys? We're great, how are you? Very good, very good. Thank you so much for jumping on and joining the live. We are very excited. So my name is Donnie Schwartz. We have, I'll let you introduce yourself, two kosher foodies. There we go. I got it right. Go what? First. Yeah, go first. Introduce yourself. Julie and Ari. Ari, yeah. Julie and Ari. From where? From Five Towns. Yeah. From Five Towns. Okay. So you got, we're going to talk about like a lot of things tonight, I think. Pesach being one, food being another. Just to make sure everyone knows, at least from our subscribers, you guys, I think, go to different restaurants, right? You try out all these different really cool, like, cuisines and, and, and food, right? So you guys are definitely yes. foodies, like myself. Exactly. We are definitely foodies. Totally. <laughs> the, we're, the more strange, the better. We like very unique stuff, so. Well, what's the most unique thing you, you've ever had, you know, on the food side? What would, what would you say that is? It's a good, good question. question. I know. I gotta <laughs> think about that. Well, let's go, let's go with the times, right? Hanukkah. So yeah. the cronut. So it's a croissant donut uh, with blueberry and cheese on top. It's super decadent. It's delicious. Yeah, it's Cafe from Chocolate. Cafe Chocolate on Central. Very, oh, very wow. good. Yeah. Amazing. That, that's, that's actually sounds pretty but, good. Wow. I know. I'm trying to think. Omakase? Was that really neat? It's not so unique. Sort of. Okay. But how, how well, well, well we love Indian food. food. We love the Indian food in Connecticut. Oh, in Connecticut? You know, there used to be yeah. a kosher Indian restaurant in New York. Uh, Shalom Bombay, a long time ago. I don't know if oh, you remember wow. that one. Yeah. No, um, now there's a Navatrana in uh, Stanford. And it's, oh, in Stanford? It's okay. Dairy. It's Chavstam, for those of you out there keeping Chavstam, but it's delicious. It's really, really good. That's good amazing. Food. So do you guys go around the world, and, or is it more country U.S. focused, or, you know, New York, Connecticut, tri-state, and just go every week? Like, how, how often do you guys go to these restaurants to try out the food? Um, yeah, so far it's just, we really kept it to the tri-state area, but you never know. Yeah. Um, We've had some foodie adventures in Israel as well. Too. Israel was a, a big one. Went to, uh, La Piedra, the number, uh, I think there's somewhere on, they are somewhere on the list. I don't know where, but top 50 pizza places in the world. So La Piedra, really? Jerusalem. Yeah. Unbelievable so brick oven. We had, a. Uh, it was, I'll never forget it. Oh, <laughs> it was so delicious. It was, uh, goat That's cheese. Awesome. Uh, hot honey, goat cheese, arugula, so, you know, brick oven pizza. It was unbelievable. Really good. Bad. Queen bee pie, it's called. Queen bee sounds, pie. Sounds delicious. I wonder if it's better than, I just remember going to, you know, apple, was it Big Apple Pizza? And, and, oh, much better. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's much better. Okay. Much that's, better. Yeah. Nice. that's a good New York slice of pizza. That's not, I'm not, we're not downplaying yeah. it, but. Yeah. Yeah, La Piedra is just, it's, yeah, it's another level of pizza. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. So, you know, you guys go to restaurants and you guys try all this food. Um, have you know, obviously, food wise, right after Hanukkah, you know, everyone's going to be looking for a Pesach program, right? A lot of people go away, travel for Pesach, um, and that's what Passover Listings is. You know, has a essentially a one stop shop for everything Pesach reviews, pricing, so on and so forth. Um, have you guys been away on a Pesach program yet? Have you gone away? Not for Pesach, but we did go to, uh, it was two years ago, we went to Gateways. Gateways yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So how, um, how, is, how is the food, you know, do you guys look at the food, like, pretty, you know, uh, religiously, like, you know, on these programs, and, you know, and, and look at, hey, you know, you have to compare, like, how is the food compared to, uh, you know, non-Pesach uh, um, opportunities, too? For sure. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but we would compare. For sure. Yeah. If we, we were would, going yeah. away. <laughs> yeah. Right. But 
food yeah 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 the only program we went to so far the food was amazing Weiss, amazing. It was Weiss, Weiss Brothers caterers uh, really incredible yeah gotcha so how, how do you guys celebrate Pesach like what do you guys typically do every year you guys more home with the family or are you guys hitting the Pesach restaurants you know the, the Passover kosher for Passover restaurants also we we have actually we we went to Ta Tam Tov in the city. Uh -huh. uh, it's like a I would call it Bukharian type of restaurant. Really delicious. Um, the service was awesome and the food was delicious. It was great. They provided matzah for us. We didn't wash. We just wanted some meat, some potatoes, you know, some wholesome uh, uh, let's call it Near East uh, kind of food. It was it was really good. It was. Uh, where else have we gone for Pesach? Really, we've really um... nice. Very oh, delicious, but very delicious. <laughs> oh, that's pizza on Central during Pesach. That's, uh, that is, that's, that's a good one. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, when we were dating, we went to uh, City oh, Field. That's right. That was a few years ago. But oh. we went to City Field for uh, the kosher stand. Great hot dog and, and burger on a potato bun. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Shit yep. called. Good yeah. news, you know. Everyone's yeah, free to wash. Everyone's free to bleach. You know, it's good. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> I think that I'm so I'm, I'm out of Los Angeles. They have uh, at Dodger Stadium. I think they have uh, the Jeff's Jeff's Gourmet. I don't know if you've heard of Jeff's. It's yeah. a, a popular um, uh, sausage and, and burger joint out here. And they also, you know, do some interesting things with the, uh, uh, you know, the coach from Passover, right? Like a potato bun and things like that. So yeah, very interesting. Interesting. Oh, so you say, so you travel to gateways, you know, I guess Arizona, where, where have you guys traveled to? Are you guys big travel? gurus yourselves or are you guys more um east coast focused i mean you're more bit. of a traveler yeah. than i am right. more, yeah. i'm more of a homebody <laughs> I, tra I travel a little bit for work um most of my food i think would be coming with me but uh we've gone to florida california you know israel all over yeah. israel um we've found um Los actually angeles. went to stanford boston we were in boston recently well los angeles and san diego also los angeles san diego yeah san diego has a wonderful um, French uh, bakery. It's inside a store in La Jolla uh, in San Diego. Unbelievable pastries. They sell salads, they're a well. Um, they have great food there. So, the, you know, the San Diego scene is changing a little bit, by the way. So I don't know if you mm -hmm. travel down south, but uh, that's a great, great environment to be for food. Really? Yeah, I wish they would have some more kosher restaurants in San Diego. I, don't, I, didn't, I only know of a few, a handful out there but that's good to know um we use the app out there called kosher gps i don't know if yeah. you use that so it's like a one-stop shop for everything kosher restaurants around the world and it's pretty it's pretty unique you know to find the nearest kosher restaurant nearest you um I'm so <laughs> what is that you i'm a user that? for gps yeah for sure oh uh, yeah nice awesome yeah, great great app yeah, yeah. so you mentioned you go to see all these restaurants, right? So, like, w w would you do you have a favorite? Like, what's your favorite meat restaurant? What's your favorite dairy restaurant? You know, are you? That's a good one, huh? Like asking so. someone to pick their favorite child. Well, I mean, me. Is that is... Really? You guys have so many. I don't like, know. I think we yeah, love. No, like, we, we, we do a lot. I, I guess. I guess. I guess. When I ask your favorite, like, what's your favorite restaurant where you can go back day after day after day and you won't get sick of it, or every week, let's just say, and you won't get sick of it. So I can I go first? Is that go okay? First, yeah. Wall Street Grill. Okay, Wall Street Grill. Uh, yeah. Chef Chef Joe Palandino, amazing head chef. I've met him before. He was at uh, Kosher uh, Palooza. Yeah. This, mm. this past year, we were there. Met met Chef. You know, Chef Joe is just such a nice guy, and his food is so innovative. It's really tasty. Um, every time we've gone there, we haven't been there recently uh, in the last six months, but mm -hmm. every time we've gone, it's been delicious. They have a, uh, a, a patio, out, you know, open air patio, but lamb, steaks, uh, burgers, really? everything I've had from there. I've been there for lunch and dinner, Wall Street Grill. So that's hands down. I think, I think, I think you would so. agree. I would agree. Yeah. 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 That's over. When you say like the steak, right? Because when I, I mean, I, I'm from LA, but I used to, I used to live in New York. You know, there was La Marais, there was Abigail's. You're saying Wall, Wall Street Grill, it's, it's just a different level? It, it is a different level. I mean, there are other fine choices in Manhattan as well. Yeah. There's uh, Tabernacle. There is, um, where else have I been? Barnea Bistro. Yeah. Um, right. There are uh, What's that La Marais, one that's Wolf and Lamb. You know, <laughs> the list of my Sorry, go ahead. Noin Carnet. What was the, was it? N-O. Oh. 
Oh, right? you Carne? No, I do. No, I do. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, Carne. Yeah, Not bad. That was yeah, cool. a lot broad side. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you know which Milford restaurant, by the way. Cork and slice. Yeah, yeah. That's where I was going. Yeah. <laughs> See, the, like if someone though. asked, you know, we yeah. had like a dating show, and they asked us questions about food. She would know my answers, and I would yeah. know her answers. So. Got it. I love that. So it's like that. We had that. that what, what's that show out there? Um, Newlyweds, I think. Right. Like that. That. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Sure. So you're obviously thinking about Hanukkah, you know, then you got Pesach, which is, you know, our big, you know, holiday where people go away. Um, I know you said you haven't been on a program, but, you know, what, what is, what would be like the one thing you guys would look for um, when you, if, if you were to go on a Pesach program this year, um, what would be kind of a couple things that you would look for in a Pesach program that you'd be looking for out there? Question. Um... All right, I'll go first. Um... <laughs> I think, you know, a variety of cuisine is important, you know, like having, let's say, you know, Italian, a little, you know, maybe a little French influence, but, you know, this, obviously there's going to be standards, it's going to be probably Japanese food, some type of sushi with some type of, you know, not with rice, quinoa or something, um, but uh, have, having a variety of cuisine, I think, in any of these programs, especially, you know, you want to you want to get what you pay for paid a lot of money for these programs you want to have a variety of things to to keep it interesting i think so um that's what i that's what i think we both look for in a in a pay staff program we are thinking about it this year uh we're not sure we actually help out a little bit in the on the first day so we're looking for second days to possibly go somewhere sadarim are another level right you have to have all a huge setup for sadarim it's it's a lot of effort a lot of work um i think it's it's probably a little bit harder to mess that part up I think it's all the Kohamoa days, you know, are you going to have a barbecue? Are you going to have, you know, fresh uh, paste off pizza? You know, I don't know why I keep thinking. It's about unbelievable. That. You know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, guys. I, I'll tell you, the food at these programs, you eat it and you're just like, this is, this is not, I mean, you know, chametz, like not, sure. it's, unbe it's unbelievable. Um, you know, I was at a program last year in Florida, Alaska Getaways, unbelievable program. I don't know if you ever, if you ever heard of them. They had every, night a different cuisine like you were talking about italian there was one night where they had italian in one station you got mexican and you got um uh you have thai right and you have all these different cuisines that you can try it was it was unbelievable i just remember you know i remember that when you jogged my memory when you said cuisines are very important to you i think you're absolutely right i think the food you know there's three things that we hear all the time it's the food right it's the entertainment and the programming and then it's really just the ambiance of the hotel, right? And the amenities, what it has to offer, of course, on location, of course. But location can be subjective, right? You know, where you want to go. Would you want to go to Dubai? Well, right, maybe not. You know, then you got, you know, Florida, or you can go to Mexico, right? Or all across uh, Europe. Um, of course. Yeah. I noticed there was a question about uh, programs in Israel. Uh, I have been to the David Citadel in Israel. That, that was fantastic. Um, I was there for the Sadarim and for a few meals. Um, I, the hotels in Israel, I think, book it as a um, like a, a night nice stay, you know, including meals. I don't know if yeah. they do a whole package for it. I know David said it all sells out very fast. I've called them before. And, so, and, yeah. so there are there are a handful of programs in Israel. If, 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 for people who are asking, you can check out passport.com and just search Israel. There's a handful of programs out there. There's a program, um, uh, in, a couple programs actually in Yerushalayim. Uh, is you know, Steve Lapian's having a program. We got Pesach. Pesach Israel's having a program. Is a is a handful. Of and to be honest with you, even with everything going on in this, in this you know crazy, crazy world we live in now, uh, you know a lot of people want to support Israel and go to Israel, right? And there's also Pesach in Jerusalem as well um, as a program as well out there. Um, so which you know the good news that, which I love, right? Even with everything going on, the, the programs are still happening and the people are still you know readily you know they they want to uh, support. Right. And really kind of get back and 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 go to Israel as well. Right. So yep. it's nice to see that. Right. With with, you know, you wouldn't really expect that. And we'll see how many people actually go to Israel this year and, and to Europe. But, um, you know, a lot of people want to support you know, our brothers and sisters out there for sure. Totally. Same, same here. We definitely want to as well. Yeah. yeah I imagine the European programs might take a bigger hit than even Israel. Like I would feel much safer going to Israel than going to Europe right now. Yep. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of, you know, a lot of the programs uh, in 
you know, the, the Arab-based countries, right? So the Moroccos, Tunisia's, Dubai's, right? They're taking probably a little bit more of a hit, at least right now. Hopefully it eases up. But the ones in um, Italy, Spain, and Greece, you know, not, not too bad, right? You know, it's a little on the slower side, but, you know, you also have a month later to pace off this year as well. Last year, pace off was actually earlier. So, but we're seeing a lot of people booking um, those European programs over there, but absolutely. You know, definitely a little slower all around. Um, but good news is, is people are, look, pay stuff's still happening. People are still going away. They want to go away. They want to spend time. I think someone wrote up here, solidarity, right? They want to, like, they really want to spend time with uh, their family and their friends and just enjoy, like, bliss. You know, you go away on these things, and hopefully you guys get to enjoy one this year or, or next year, whenever you guys go away. It's, um... It's honestly an amazing experience, you know, people going and just, you know, you really just like lay back and just relax. Finally, you don't have to cook, you don't have to clean. Um, and you don't have to but <laughs> I, no, not to say it's not, you know, people who are staying home, I'm sure you're having a great time too. But, uh, you know, going away, that's what these programs really have to offer. It's unbelievable. 100%. Yeah. Not costuring, not bringing stuff with you. You know, that's the... I think that's the ticket, you know, just, just being able to go to a hotel somewhere, maybe exotic and just relaxing. But of course, you know, TKF over here, we're, we also think about the food. So, you know, you're on the same page. So. Oh yeah. I mean, the food, I mean, you, you, you hit it on the nail. I mean, you know, outside the fact that like these tea rooms, I don't know. I mean, have you, you've heard about these tea rooms. These tea rooms yeah. are insane. Yeah. I remember, you know, just, just from my last year, I mean, there was two tea rooms. There was a tea room that was just unbelievable. And then they opened up a second tea room out of the blue, and it was like a surprise tea room. No one knew about this, and it was, <laughs> wow. it was crazy. I love surprise tea rooms. It was <laughs> unbelievable. Um, you know, you got the poolside barbecues, which are unbelievable, and you got you got all these these these, these things. I, I, I think that's the one thing. You're, you're definitely going to come back not hungry. Hopefully you don't you know, gain a couple pounds, but you may. I did, I know. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, the food quality is just, it's unbelievable across the board. I mean, that's, that's, that's really what people strive for. And, and the variety, like you said, you know, you got to have like a couple of different things. You know, you got to have the steaks, you got the chickens, right? You got the, you know, the different types of cuisines out there, which is, which is great. So, um, uh, no, it's great. Um, what other, um, yeah, I mean, actually, let me ask you, just turning it back. I mean, how, how do you think? Passover and kosher travel, I and mean, you guys obviously have, you know, you're in the foodie side, but how do you think Passover and kosher travel will be uh, impacted due to what's going on um, in Israel right now? What's your take on that? It's hmm. a good question. I mean, um, I, I think actually more people may stay home. I hope not. I, ho I, I think that, you know, uh, here in Five Towns, we feel very safe. We're very grateful for the police department and overall Nassau County government uh, has been doing a good job of keeping us safe. So perhaps people will, you know, maybe we should have a pace off program here in Five Towns, you know, <laughs> bring it local. So I was, that, that, that may be a, I don't know the last time we had, there was a program, in the, but that's funny. That's interesting. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. You know, if people want to stay and feel a little right. bit more safe and accommodated, but don't want to do the whole, you know, posturing everything and preparing, it's it's a lot of work. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for us, we feel we actually feel the safest home aside from Israel. So if you're not going to Israel, you know, maybe we stay here. I, I agree with Julie said earlier about, you know, programs that are outside of Israel. But, you know, like you said, there, there are other nations that are nowhere near uh, the Arab countries. And so it might be okay. It might be a little bit better for them, but right. what yeah. do you think? Yeah, I think it's basically what I said. Yeah. 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 I think, you know, what's great about this year you know, outside, um, uh, you know, the, the, the programs, first of all, there's still a variety of programs operating, but they're all putting safety measures in place, which is really good. They're met, you just hit on that, the safety and security, whether it be hiring some extra armed guards or uh, whether it be checking, you know, every person, you know, especially the, the programs that, you know, that, that buy out the entire hotel, right? Checking, making oh. sure everyone's coming in is, is, is on the program and things like that. So there, there are going to be little nuances this year that we haven't had last year. Uh, you know, especially when you have, like, literally, you know, tons of Jews all together. You got to be, you gotta, like you said, you got to be safe. You got to be careful and you want to be, uh, you want to have a good time. So that's, that's, that's really good. But, yeah, any, any, what, what, any other questions that you have around Pesach or Pesach? 
programs, food, and you know, I know you're on the, the, the kosher food side, which I love. I love your, you know, that you guys go to these restaurants and have a great time and enjoy it. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Time. You can really tell when I enjoy food because there's no, it's very authentic. Um, yeah, that's something that I think people don't realize is that it's really not, it's all in one take or it doesn't happen yeah. at all. Like, that's yep. yeah. Yeah. That's no, yeah, we wish uh, Paystock listings, you know, we hope folks are looking at your listings. We, th we hope that they're checking out the Paystock programs. Anybody who wants to, you know, bring us along, we're, we got our suitcases packed. We have our, uh, Julie closed it, our Mashiach suitcase. You know, it's always packed, it's always ready to go. So, you know, we're prepared. You guys heard it, guys. If you guys need some people on your program or want some people on your program to, especially to help out with the, uh, you know, uh, kosher food options and checking that out, you know, reach out to um, two kosher foodies and check out Passover listings. If you're guys, if you guys are looking for a program, if you need any help, you can always reach out to us. We're here for you. We're happy to help you guys. Um, I think the last thing I'll add before I let you guys go, and thank you guys so much for jumping on, is any words of motivation, inspiration for you know everyone, uh, you know the Jewish the Jewish people right now. Good. We need we need a lot of this, You know, keep let's stay together. Um, if there's a, I think the best way I can say it in a, as a foodie is if there's a place that you could go to maybe for coffee that doesn't have kosherists, go to a place that has kosherists. You know, even if the coffee might be 50 cents more, we support our kosher businesses that take the time and the effort to make, to get kosherists and to be kosher. And I think, I think that shows octus in the food sense. So for me, that's, that's a practice I've been doing a lot. Not to say to ban anyone, but you know, like we're not going to stop maybe from a Starbucks once in a while, but listen, all there's, there's so many kosher options out there, especially really in almost all the cities that I visit throughout the country, there are options. So especially uh, here in New York. Oh, absolutely. Especially here in New York. Yeah, for sure. We have lots of options. So absolutely. Let's, let's stay together. Support Jewish people. owned businesses, support kosher restaurants, support, you know, um, sure. kosher travel, everybody out there, I think is, you know, I'm sure if I stay united. And, you know, I think we're seeing that too, you know, which is amazing. Just people coming together nowadays. And it's so nice to, uh, you know, really, see that unity just come to to life as well so again guys thank you so much for jumping on it's a pleasure really good meeting you guys um thank hopefully i'll see you at the program this year yes. and if you get help you know where to go all right so, okay. thanks. Yeah. take care bye, bye. bye. thanks everybody thank you